uh, I have to confess that I love good sound, and I have a hard time listening to music that's poorly recorded. So it it's been that way ever since 1971 or 72 when I started as a as a recording engineer. So I can't get that part out of my head, mm-hmm. but I try my best to ignore bad sound when it's good music it's just really hard but we could take the approach that there's so much good recording out there and so much new good music that i can find uh, a little of both and um or a lot of both and ignore the parts that i i don't like Plus, because I'm a very strong advocate for um, loudness normalization in streaming and for uh, dynamics, um, and that's where my ears are headed. I love it when I, whenever I master. My clients, um, most of my clients come to me for the dynamics that they know that I can either produce or enhance or retain in their recordings. So as a result, I have a a wide um, collection of great recordings, many of which I've made and which others have made. I try to open my mind to as many different kinds of music and as many different styles of recording as possible. I made my earliest reputation as an audiophile recording engineer doing minimalist miking, but today I do everything from progressive rock to uh, occasional hip-hop to uh, a little bit of metal and uh, still a lot of very acoustic music. But people come to me because they enjoy what I do and uh, some of my classical music uh, uh Clients have no idea that I just finished an incredible hard rock recording the day before. But Mm -hmm. I am trying really hard to open my ears. Uh, I'm currently mixing and mastering a very excellent Texas rock group. The thing is that the first go-round, I didn't really know who they were. And some of the mixes that I made were very conservative. But the second, uh, the revision that I did on some of the songs, I went a uh, full tilt boogie. I really uh, pushed uh, the compression that I was doing much harder. It's not the kind of uh, uh, master that you'd get from uh, some of the most aggressive mastering engineers, but people would hear that and they'd say, oh my, Bob Katz made that? So I'm trying to keep my ears open. And is that an audiophile recording? Um, Well, it's good distortion, not bad distortion. How about that? (laughs)